The universe is full of mysteries, vast and infinite. We humans are driven to understand them, to uncover the secrets of the cosmos. We look for patterns in the stars, mapping constellations and charting celestial movements. We search for meaning in the laws of physics, trying to decode the language of the universe. This quest for knowledge has led us to a new frontier machine learning, a revolutionary field. Machine learning is a type of artificial intelligence or AI that is transforming our world. AI is about making machines think like us, mimicking human intelligence. Machine learning, however, focuses on teaching machines to learn from data, adapting, and evolving. Just like we learn from experience, machines can learn from data, improving their capabilities. They can improve their performance over time, becoming more accurate and efficient. This has incredible implications for our world, opening up new possibilities. Machine learning is being used in many fields, from healthcare to transportation. It helps doctors diagnose diseases with greater accuracy. It powers self-driving cars, making travel safer. It even recommends your next favorite song, personalizing your music experience. In this vast universe of data, machine learning is our telescope, helping us explore and understand. It helps us make sense of the information around us, turning data into knowledge. It allows us to see patterns we might otherwise miss, uncovering hidden insights. Imagine you're teaching a child to identify different animals. You show them pictures of cats and dogs. You label each picture. This is supervised learning. In supervised learning, we give the machine labeled data. This data is like a teacher, guiding the machine to learn the relationship between input, like pictures, and output, like labels. The machine learns from this labeled data. It uses this knowledge to make predictions on new unseen data. Supervised learning is further divided into two main types, regression and classification. Regression helps us predict continuous values. Classification helps us sort data into categories. Let's dive deeper into these two types. We'll explore their applications and understand how they contribute to the power of machine learning. Imagine you're trying to predict the price of a house. It's a complex task, but with the right tools, it becomes manageable. You know the size of the house, the location, and the number of bedrooms. These are crucial pieces of information that can help in making an accurate prediction. You can use this information to train a regression model. This model will learn from the data and help you make predictions. Regression is a type of supervised learning. In supervised learning, the model is trained on labeled data, which means it knows the correct output for each input during training. It's used to predict a continuous output variable. This means the output can take on any value within a given range, rather than being limited to specific categories. A continuous variable can take on any value within a range. This is different from categorical variables, which have distinct and separate values. Think of temperature, height, or stock prices. These are all examples of continuous variables that can vary smoothly over a range. One common regression algorithm is linear regression. It's simple, yet powerful, making it a popular choice for many applications. It finds the best fitting line through a set of data points. This line minimizes the difference between the predicted values and the actual values. This line represents the relationship between the input variables, like house size, and the output variable, house price. By understanding this relationship, we can make more accurate predictions. Regression models are used in many fields, from finance to healthcare, these models help professionals make data-driven decisions. They're used to predict stock prices, forecast weather patterns, and even estimate crop yields. The versatility of regression models makes them invaluable tools in various industries. By understanding the relationships between variables, we can make more informed decisions. This leads to better outcomes and more efficient processes in both personal and professional contexts. Imagine you're building a spam filter. You want to train a model to identify spam emails. You can use a classification algorithm. Classification is another type of supervised learning. It's used to categorize data into predefined classes. Think of sorting emails into spam or not spam. One popular classification algorithm is the support vector machine, or SVM. It finds the optimal boundary that separates data points into different classes. Classification models have countless applications. They power facial recognition software, medical diagnosis systems, and even credit card fraud detection. By classifying data, 
we can automate decision-making processes and improve efficiency. Section 5. Unsupervised Learning Unveiling Hidden Patterns Imagine you're an astronomer looking at a star-filled sky. You notice patterns and clusters in the stars. You're engaging in unsupervised learning. Unsupervised learning is like exploring the cosmos without a map. We don't have labeled data. Instead, we let the machine discover patterns and structures on its own. This type of learning is useful for tasks like clustering and dimensionality reduction. Clustering groups similar data points together. Dimensionality reduction simplifies complex data by reducing the number of variables. Unsupervised learning is like discovering new constellations in the vastness of space. It allows us to uncover hidden relationships and gain new insights from our data. Section 6. Clustering Grouping Similar Data Points Imagine you're a marketer. You want to group your customers based on their purchasing behavior. Clustering can help you with this. Clustering is a type of unsupervised learning. It groups similar data points together based on their characteristics. These groups are called clusters. One common clustering algorithm is k-means clustering. It partitions data points into k clusters. Each data point belongs to the cluster with the nearest mean, or centroid. Clustering has many applications. It's used in customer segmentation, image recognition, and anomaly detection. By grouping similar data points together, we can better understand our data and make more informed decisions. Section 7, Dimensionality Reduction, Simplifying Complex Data. Imagine you're trying to analyze a data set with thousands of variables. This can be overwhelming. Dimensionality reduction can help simplify this data. Dimensionality reduction is a technique used to reduce the number of variables in a data set. It does this by identifying the most important variables. One popular dimensionality reduction technique is Principal Component Analysis, or PCA. PCA finds the principal components of the data. These components capture the most variance in the data. Dimensionality reduction is like finding a shortcut through a dense forest. It helps us navigate complex data more easily. It also improves the performance of machine learning models. Section 8. Reinforcement Learning. Learning through trial and error. Imagine you're teaching a dog a new trick. You start with simple commands and gradually move to more complex ones. You reward the dog for good behavior, like sitting or staying on command. You correct the dog for bad behavior, such as jumping on people or barking excessively. This is reinforcement learning in action. Reinforcement learning is a type of machine learning that mimics this process. It involves an agent, like a robot or software, interacting with an environment to achieve a goal. The agent learns by trial and error, much like the dog learning new tricks. It receives rewards for good actions and penalties for bad actions, helping it understand what works and what doesn't. One key concept in reinforcement learning is the Q-learning algorithm, which helps the agent learn from its experiences. It helps the agent learn the optimal policy, or the best way to achieve its goals. The policy dictates the best action to take in a given state, ensuring the agent makes the right decisions. Reinforcement learning is used in various fields, including robotics, game playing, and even resource management. It allows machines to learn complex behaviors through continuous interaction and feedback, making them more efficient and effective over time. Section 9. Model Evaluation Measuring Performance Imagine you've trained a machine learning model. Now you need to evaluate its performance. How well does it make predictions? Model evaluation is crucial. It helps us understand how well our model generalizes to new, unseen data. We use various metrics to evaluate our model's performance. For regression tasks, we might use metrics like mean squared error or MSE or R squared. These metrics measure the difference between the predicted and actual values. For classification tasks, we might use accuracy, precision, recall, and F1 score. These metrics tell us how well the model correctly classifies the data. Section 10, Model Validation, Ensuring Generalization. Imagine you've trained a model that performs perfectly on your training data. However, it performs poorly on new data. This is called overfitting. Model validation helps prevent overfitting. It ensures that our model can generalize to new data. One common validation technique is cross-validation. Cross-validation involves splitting the data into multiple folds. The model is trained on some folds and validated on others. 
This process is repeated multiple times. By validating our models, we can be confident that they will perform well in real-world scenarios. Section 11, Conclusion, The Future of Machine Learning. We stand at the edge of a new era. Machine learning is transforming our world at an unprecedented pace. From healthcare to finance, from transportation to entertainment, its applications are limitless. As we delve deeper into the cosmos of data, machine learning will be our guide. It will help us unlock new discoveries, solve complex problems, and shape a brighter future for humanity. The journey has just begun, and the possibilities are truly astronomical.